Welcome to my vlog, people. This is a really heavily requested vlog. Everybody was asking me, please, Mike, can you go to this location? And today, finally, they arrived, and I'm gonna go to the location just for you guys. Do you know where we wanna go? So why don't we ask Louis where we're gonna go? Well, I'll tell hey, you. Hold on one oh. second, Louis. Wait, before we start, why don't you just get up and show what you're wearing? More you got Bruce Lee for me. One more Bruce Lee. Black and yellow, black and yellow. And Louis is sitting right there where Michael Jackson was sitting. Right here. Right there for the Suzuki commercial. Then we got Michael Jackson's favorite bookstore. That was his favorite bookstore. He was taking another picture right over here for the Wiz. That's where he went with Madonna for the Oscar celebration. And then you see that big sign? 8730 Sunset Towers. That's where his management company was. So this is the best introduction place we could find. Well, let me give you a hint. Oh, wow, the picture is finally done. Look at all the hundreds of names on there. It took me a long time. So what does that mean, Louis? Where are we going? Today, we're going to go to four different homes that Michael Jackson lived in. And at the end, we're gonna go to the Havenhurst house and hang this up for you guys. Here we are on Hollywood Boulevard and Queens Road. And this is the house where the Jackson 5 moved from Gary, Indiana to West Hollywood. It's 1601 Queens Road. That's the Jackson 5 first house. And that's where they all walked in and out all the time. Entrance is right, right here, 1601. There's no fence around it. You can just walk right up to the property. Let me check it out. That's the garage. They probably played some music in. Beautiful lemon tree. Yeah, that's where they moved into in 1969 and the Jackson 5 they were all lined up right around this pole right here and I got the picture to prove it those are the Jackson 5 but it would be better if I would line up the picture right here but I have to ask them if I can get permission to take the video or picture we'll see but that was right here the Jackson 5 were standing right around the pole right here pole is still here but the sign was removed it's a beautiful Mediterranean style house wow just think about how many songs were written right here in this house pretty cool I'm just gonna ask if I can step on their property for a second this is where they walked up all the time man was super nice and he gave me permission to step on the property and this is the shot where they were standing right in front of the house they removed the sign but that's where it was and right now I'm standing exactly where the Jackson 5 were standing right here on Queens Road so when the Jacksons first moved to Los Angeles Michael stayed with Diana Ross and the rest of the Jacksons stayed at different hotel rooms eventually Barry Gordy rented this house here. They stayed here for seven months. Louis, why did they only live here for seven months? Well, Mike, I'm glad you asked me that question. As rumor has it, the neighbors were complaining that they were making too much noise here. So they were kicked out after only seven months. And then they moved up to Beaumont Drive. And this is the second hour, 2430 Beaumont Drive in Beverly Hills. This is how the house looked when the Jackson 5 used to live here. I think they added an extra, no, maybe it's the same, but it looks a little different now. This was the Jackson 5 compound. Let me see if I can match up another picture. I don't really want to trespass again. I 
But this is where they were all standing, the whole Jackson 5 clan, right here. And I have another picture, I have to match it up later. They were all sitting on the stairs. If I can come a little closer, that would have been right here. And guess what? They got kicked out of this house again. I don't know how, it's so secluded up here. How could anybody hear them making too much noise? Louis is driving into the Jackson 5 compound on Beaumont Drive. Avonhurst exit. And this is the Gelson where the Jackson 5 got their sweets, their candies and their popsicles all the time. And that's only maybe three blocks down from Havenhurst. It's maybe like a two or three minutes walk. That's how close it was. I can't believe it. I made it to the Havenhurst gates. People always ask me, Mike, please go to the Havenhurst house. I can't really go to the house. All you can see is this gate here. You can't get any closer. There are cameras everywhere. In 1971, Joe Jackson bought this property for $250,000 when they got kicked out of the house in Beverly Hills. On the way here to the Havenhurst location, Louis felt really sick and he wanted to go home and that's why I'm doing the video by myself for the ending. Louis, I hope you do better. Wow, I don't feel really comfortable being here. They have a camera right here, a camera right here, a camera right here, camera right here, everywhere. So I thought I'm gonna hang the picture up here, but I don't think it's a good idea. But right behind those gates, I already know exactly how it looks like because I watched so many YouTube videos where Jermaine Jackson showed his friends the whole estate, all the rooms, the recording studios. If you keep walking down the driveway, there's a basketball court on the right. It's still there. It's not the same one, but this is when little Michael Jackson was playing basketball in the driveway, right behind those gates. Right here in Encino, there's a lot of celebrities like Johnny Cash, Ron Howard, Samuel L. Jackson, Lisa Kudrow, and Ice Cube. Lots of celebrities live right here in Encino. This is how it looked when they first moved in. They're all sitting on the diving board right here. And when Michael Jackson was 23 years old, he remodeled the whole Havenhurst house. He had the whole house tear down and then he built it up just the way he wanted it. There's another picture here. Look how they look, how they're dressed. That's right here at the Havenhurst house. They all had motorcycle, little motorcycles. Pretty cool, huh? There are really not a lot of pictures of Michael Jackson being outside the gates right here, but I found one or two of them. And this is when he had his llama. Believe it or not, the llama's name was Louie. That one was right here. And then we got just another angle right here. But that was right in front of the Havenhurst house where all the neighbors could touch the llama and take pictures with it. I don't know if you can see the garage in the back, but that's where the basketball court is. And that's where they were playing when they were kids. But there's still a basketball court there. I saw it in Jermaine's video. Michael had a little zoo here at the Havenhurst. He got like swan, birds, you got two peacocks, two llamas. He had a big giraffe, a ram and a pet snake. From what I heard from Jermaine, they had a big giraffe in the backyard and they had a cage around it. But what happened is the giraffe was so tall, she always picked the neighbor's flowers and the bushes. So they had to get rid of that giraffe. That's a funny story though. This is also a famous picture. They're all standing just like the Brady Bunch on the stairs. But I guess the house still has the stairs. I've seen like a video for the Halloween party and people walked around and I, sh I saw the stairs in there. It would be awesome to go in there and see all this. I can't believe it, I'm still in front of the gates where they went in and out all the time. Not only Michael, Latoya, Janet Jackson. I really like Janet Jackson too. Of course, Tito, Jermaine, and all the other guys. And his dad, his mom. My plan was to tape the painting to the gate here, but since they have all those cameras there, I don't think it's a really good idea. I think until a couple years ago, they were doing Halloween parties. If you donated some money, they invited you to like a Halloween party and you could walk around inside the house, outside, 
I know people that did it and I can't believe it. It would have been so much fun to be here for Halloween. Joe Jackson was so tired of moving around so he decided to buy this Encino house for $250,000 in 1971. And it's all located in the San Fernando Valley. In 1980, Joe Jackson had some money problems and Michael Jackson decided to buy this Encino house for $500,000. And for some reason, he left his mom's name on the contract, so she always has something to fall back on. Yeah, all we see is the gates, but there's so much history behind those gates for the music industry. It's unbelievable. And yeah, I can always say, oh, Paris, Prince, or Blanket, or even Jermaine Jackson. I saw Jermaine Jackson uh, gave some people entrance to the house and showed them everything in the house. Of course, that would be nice to do, but why would he do that for somebody he doesn't even know? It's like people asking me, hey, Mike, can you go with me on a trip to wherever? You know, if I would have known him, that probably would do it, but there's no chance to get into those gates unless I'm a super influencer and I contact the right people. There's always a way, but you got to know people. What I really, really wanted to see is Michael Jackson had like an addict and you put all pictures on the wall. He glued all the pictures to the wall. I've seen it when Jermaine Jackson showed somebody all the pictures of his life glued to the walls. I even saw a picture online where Prince is sitting in the middle of the room. I might can put the picture here and you can see it. But that's the room I would love to see. That's where Michael Jackson was hanging out and got all the inspiration for all his songs. I'm not sure. I think everybody moved out of the house here. From what I heard on the internet is soon they're gonna have like a tour where people can come and visit the house. That would be awesome. But I think maybe Paris is still living in the back house, in the guest house. That's what I heard, I'm not sure. I watch her Instagram, but you can't really tell if it's the house here or not. But I think Rebe and her, her mom lives in Vegas. I think Jermaine went to Vegas and Tito also. So they all went to Vegas, I think. I wonder who's in the house right now. Who's watching me right now while I'm standing here? So I found this picture on the internet. And if you look to the right, that's the entrance to his studio where he wrote all the music, Thriller, Off the Wall, before Quincy Jones got to hear all this. That's where Michael was writing it. And the outside looked like a toy store, a candy store, and a flower shop, if you look closely. And that's right behind those gates. Come on, somebody open the gates, man. I want to see it. Ah, that's all we can see, the gates. Do we have the combination? I think it's three, four, four, seven, eight. That's how you get in. In 1981, Michael bought a condominium in Lindbrook, not far from here, also in Encino. And when they were doing the renovation, he decided to live in his condominium. But after a while, he got really lonely there and he said he wanted to come back here. So he was living here from 1971 to 1988. And then he moved out to the Neverland Ranch. Since I can't tape it to the gate, I just wanted to show you. It's been 11 years without Michael. We miss you, Michael. See, there was a security guy who could see that I put a tripod out and he came out and told me that I have to remove the tripod, which I can understand. I appreciate that he let me take pictures here. Thank you. I guess that was it from the Havenhurst house right here in Encino, off to the next location. And right here are the Lindbrook condominiums. That's where Michael Jackson bought his condominium for $210,000. That's the entrance where he walked in. This was the condominium where he was dancing with Emmanuel Lewis. You all seen the video on YouTube. Michael kept this condominium over the years. So sometimes his brothers moved in here if they had some problems with the family, they just moved in here, the sisters. So it was always an empty one and everybody was able to get away if they had to. And I think they still own it. And you see the pattern of the balcony right here? This is the picture where he's sitting on the bridge and you see in the background, you see the balcony, they all look like this. 
but this is taken inside. This is the unit number nine where Michael Jackson lived and he still has, there's people living there. Well, one of the neighbors was so nice to let me in. That was great, so you get to see it too. See, sometimes you're at the right place at the right moment. I met this guy and I told him my story and then he said, yeah, let's go inside and check it out. I was not able to match up this bridge right here. I couldn't find it anywhere and I didn't have too much time because he wanted to leave and I said, I just want to get a quick shot of where he lived. So thank you very much. Sometimes you just have to be lucky like always in life. Michael Jackson used to live in unit number nine. That's a bottom one. And you know who else lived there in unit number four? Ice Cube, believe it or not, the famous rapper in the same building. And I don't have to introduce this location. Exactly 11 years ago is where the tragedy happened right here on North Carrollwood Drive. This is where the ambulance pulled out exactly 11 years ago. This is gonna be displayed tomorrow at the Forest Lawn. I just wanna say thank you to all the people that participated. I'm sorry that I cannot put all the names on the picture, but maybe I can do another one for his birthday in August. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give me a thumb up and push the notification bell. And I see you in my next video. Just saying. The gate just opened and they're closing again. I just leave you with the quietness of 100 North Calwood Drive. There's nobody here. It's huge property all the way down. And I believe this is the window where it happened.